If you'd like to take a picture and change it from a square or a rectangle into a circle or any other standard shape, you can do it very easily if you know how. So let's go through it. I'm using Excel 365, but this will work from around version 2010. Now I'm going to add my picture into the spreadsheet. If you have the option of placing the image over the cells or within the cells, you want to choose over the cells. Now not all versions have this option, but for those of you that do, I'll show you how to move the picture uh, that's from on top of the cells into the cells at the end of this video. But basically, when the image is floating over the spreadsheet, you get more options. So it's really best to always start with that option. Personally, I find that most pictures are rectangles, or at least the ones I take with my camera. So we're going to leave this picture in just as I inserted it, and we're going to see what happens when I start changing the shape. So select your picture. You'll notice that when your picture is selected, the Picture Format tab becomes available. The Picture Format ribbon might show automatically when you select the picture, but if it doesn't, just click on the tab at the top to show that ribbon. Tabs that only show in certain circumstances are called contextual tabs, but I like to call them temporary tabs because they're only temporarily available when you have that item selected, in this case, a picture or image. In the size grouping, you have crop. Now, do not click on the main button, but if I pause my mouse over it, you'll notice that actually it's two buttons in one. The top part is the default crop, and the bottom is the crop options or more features. Now, it's the bottom part that we want to click on. The first option here that we're going to look at is the crop to shape. Now this shows you all the default shapes and you can click to select. The picture will change or crop to that shape, but it's within the width and height that it was originally. Now this means that I don't get a circle, but an oval. Now if I wanted an oval, absolutely fantastic. Uh, not so great if I wanted a circle. Now, I can use the undo button or control Z, which is the shortcut key, but I'm actually going to use the reset picture button to get my picture back to the way it was. Now, the reason is, is I've actually done a couple of things to this picture, so I'd have to undo a few times, whereas reset is quicker in this case. Great. Now that I'm back to the original, I want to make this a square first so that I can change it into a circle rather than that oval. There are two ways to do this, the long way and the short way. Now, I'm just going to show you the short way, but if you're interested in learning about the long way, then let me know in the comments. The short way is to use the crop buttons. Then select aspect ratio one by one. You can see that there are quite a few other options. So if you have a picture and you want to make it any of those shapes, it's really easy to do. Once I select it, my picture is cropped and the area will be shown um, is, is actually brighter and the parts that are going to be cropped are more dull. In this case, it doesn't look too bad, but what if I wanted to adjust it? While it looks like this, you can move your mouse to the dull parts and it changes to a four-headed arrow. This allows you to move the picture around within the crop. Moving the mouse to the circles on the edges, 
they change the mouse to a double-headed arrow, which means you can resize. Now, a bit of a warning that you may or may not know about. If you resize, you may be able to skew or warp the picture. But you can do a, a few things to lock that, and I will record a video to show you how to lock and work with aspect ratio when resizing pictures. Now, if you're like me, and put your picture in the top corner of your spreadsheet, it can be difficult to move the picture to where uh, you want it, so to change the crop. I can't move it up any further because it won't go above row one. So this isn't a problem. We can overcome this. I'm just going to click on the crop button to finalize it. And you can see that now I, I can actually move the picture around the spreadsheet. So it's not at the top of the sheet. Then all I have to do is click on the crop button again, and it allows me to go back to editing the crop. I can then resize the image, move it around to how I want it to look. And now it's a square. I can then change that to a circle. So I click on the crop options drop down, select crop to shape, then select oval, which because it's from a square, it will now give me a circle. I can click on the crop button, the top half of the button to move back into the crop mode so that I can adjust this if I need to. Okay, and then to finish, I can either click on that crop button again or just click onto a cell in my spreadsheet. So the picture now can be moved around. So if you would like this inside the cell instead of floating over cells, first put the um, image approximately uh, where you want it to be. And when you click on the picture, you will get an icon in the top right corner. Use this to place it in the cell. Now, if you're not a, um, if you don't want to click on that, but you're more of a right mouse click kind of person, then right mouse click on the picture instead, and you will see picture in cell with options or place in a cell. And that depends on if your picture is actually in the cell or floating on top of them. Thank you so much for staying to the end. I really hope I've helped you use these features better. And if you found this video useful, please like. And if you'd like to see uh, more videos or help to encourage me to keep going at this, please do subscribe to my channel. I really do appreciate it. Thanks again and have a fantastic day. Bye for now.